everyone, welcome back. I'm so glad to be sitting here and talking to you guys. I feel like I have been gone for the longest time, especially since I haven't done a chit chat talk through makeup tutorial in a long time. But you guys, I have a lot of new makeup products, a lot of festival, like festive makeup brands are coming out with festive makeup that I'm feeling festive. So I came up with this festive makeup look. <laughs> Don't mind this thing right here. So I'm going to be priming my eyes with MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This is an NC15, and I'm going to completely coat my entire lid with this. So I'm going to just take this concealer and just apply it with a eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to grab a mini beauty blender. First, I'm going to go in the eyeshadow candy. This looks like a really pretty, like, peachy transition shade. I'm going to take the Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to just, like, start pressing that into my crease. And then once I have less product on the brush, I'm going to just work that all throughout my crease and just blend this out. I'm actually going to take the same brush and I'm going to go in with Hippie, which is a straight up orange. Ooh, that is pigmented. You just want to take it slow and just continue to blend as best you can. I'm also going to just extend it a little bit towards the end so it's a little bit more blown out. So I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Addiction Precise Blender Brush. I'm going in with Escape, and Escape is a little bit more of like a warmer toned brown. The reason why I'm using a smaller brush for this is because I actually wanna be precise with where I'm placing this eyeshadow so it doesn't get messy fast. And you guys, so far these eyeshadows are blending out really nice. So I'm taking this escape eyeshadow along the upper lash line and then kind of connecting it like in this area like a little v up next i'm gonna go in with swag at this point now i just want to work with small detail brushes i'm just placing swag again right on top of the escape eyeshadow I'm gonna take a different blending brush. This one is from Elsie, it's the E1. And I'm actually gonna go back in with Hippie, with the orange. I think the orange has basically disappeared. So I'm just gonna go back and focus this orange eyeshadow on the outer part of my crease. Tap off the excess. All right now I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow right here, which is a darker brown. This is called Hipster. I'm gonna take the Morphe M433 blending brush. Oh, that is so pigmented. Dang. For the brow bone highlight, I'm gonna go in with Trixie. I'm gonna go in with this Japanese 725 brush. I want to play around with this BH Cosmetics Eye Lights Waterproof Eye Color. This is in the shade Gnarly. It's just like a really pretty mermaidy teal color. But I also want to use a few of the blues from the palette first, like as a base. But before I do that, I want to actually conceal my lid with a little bit more concealer, just so we have a clean canvas for the eyeshadow. This part, you want to be really, really careful. So I'm going to just take my time packing on that concealer. And I think I'm going to do one eye at a time. I'm going to use this eyeshadow right here. It's called Ultimate. And we're just going to pack that all over the lid. Dang, these are so pigmented. Dude, that's so pretty. Wow. And then softly blend out the edges. I know we're not done yet, but I think this by far is my favorite BH Cosmetics palette. I'm so impressed with the formula of these eyeshadows. I'm working with such bright shades and I still don't have fallout. And these colors are so pigmented and they're actually really, really easy to work with. I'm going to go back in with a small detailing brush and just buff out these edges. I'm going to go back in with Swag, which is that purple. Just kind of blend those two together. And then I'm actually going to go in with this Wicked eyeshadow. This is like a shimmery purple. Dang, that's so pretty. Wow, okay. 
getting excited. All right, so up next, I want to try out this BH Cosmetics Eye Lights. Eye Lights, highlights. Eye Lights. Ooh. These are waterproof as well. We're going to do one eye at a time. And these things are actually really easy to use. They don't feel like sticky or they're not like super watery. I'm gonna do eyeliner next. I'm just gonna do like a upper line eyeliner and I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Cream Matte Eye Color in Shady. The eyeliner does not have to look perfect because we're gonna actually blend this out with some black eyeshadow. And then taking that super small detail brush, I'm gonna mix Hipster and Swag, which is the blue and not blue, which is the brown and purple, and just start buffing that out. Well, I'm gonna put on some mascara and some of these lashes. These are Black Magic in Neorella. These are the Luxe Faux Mink lashes, and they flare out towards the end, and they're really, really pretty. So I'm gonna apply these. Now I'm gonna move on to the face, and I am focusing on super full coverage, dewy skin. So that is kind of what I'm going for. First things first, I want to prime. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. This smells really, really good. For the foundation, I'm going to try this Power Play Cover FX. This foundation is vegan, cruelty-free, and it's free of talc, mineral oil, gluten, fragrance, and parabens. This foundation is available in 40 shades, which is amazing that's so cool this is in the shade n40 so this is supposed to be like an all-day wearing matte foundation that is supposed to feel weightless on the skin and super nice so we will try this out i thought it would be a lot runnier but it's actually not to blend this out i'm gonna use my iconic london flat top kabuki brush and let's just work this into the skin this seems like a really good shade for me. I'm glad we went in with this one. So far, it looks really flawless on the skin. Seemed to blend out quite nicely. Dang, it actually like blends into the skin so easy. I just covered up my redness. I'm going to take a little bit more on my actual brush because I need to conceal some more around my forehead. This foundation looks really, really pretty, but I don't think I would recommend this for somebody with really dry skin. I feel like it has the potential to cling onto your dry patches. I have a lot of texture right here on my chin for whatever reason. I don't know, I've been trying to get rid of it, but it's still, um, it's kind of enhancing my texture. All right, so up next we have some Milk Makeup Concealers, and I don't know if this is actually good for underneath the eyes, but I'm still gonna use these for that reason. I'm gonna go in with the shade Light. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to have this kind of thing. Okay, that makes it so much easier because for some reason I thought it was gonna be like a squeezy tube. I think I'm gonna mix my concealer shades. It feels pretty thick underneath the eyes. I'm gonna go in with the shade Fair to mix. But they look like they're gonna be really good coverage. Moment of truth. This concealer definitely is a lot heavier than what I'm used to. If you guys like that kind of feeling, then you guys will like these concealers because they are pretty, pretty high coverage, but I can already tell that these are going to crease on me super badly so i'm going to take my rcma no color translucent powder and quickly set underneath my eyes i'm not taking any risks i'm going to go in with my Mako forever pro finish uh powder this is in the shade 120 and i'm going to use that to set the rest of my face we're going to go smoky on the lower lash line i'm going to go in with my favorite black gel liner this is the mark jacobs highliner and it's super black super creamy and very long lasting i'm going to grab a brush i'm going to go back in with that hipster eyeshadow which is the dark brown and blend it out all right so i just applied more of that dark brown 
eyeshadow along my lower lash line and really smoked it out. This is the Bye Bye Pores Bronzer by It Cosmetics. This is in the shade Beach. Dang, you guys, do you see this bronzer? Dang, that looks so good. But anyways, I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush. Press that bronzer into my skin. So Benefit came out with a new blush. This is called Gold Rush. It is such a pretty blush. I'm, I need to put this on my face right now. Mm. It's like a really natural looking blush, actually. All right, so I have this NARS Highlighting Trio. They just look so pretty. I'm gonna mix all of them and apply it to my face. And I think I'm gonna use this Japanese 713 brush. Let's see what happens. Wait, what? NARS. I'm a little disappointed. Okay, let's go in with the good old The Bomb Mary Luminizer. This never disappoints. I'm gonna use the same brush. There you go. Just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I kinda wanna add another highlighter. Let's do Rodeo Drive from Ofra Cosmetics. Okay, so now we just have lips, and honestly, I don't know what kind of lipstick to go for. Um, I just have so many that I literally don't know. I literally don't know. I'm gonna just take this NYX suede lip pencil. This is in the shade London. Filling in my lips with the MAC lipstick and Blankety. This is more of a neutral nude. That's pretty. And then for the lips, I think I'm gonna go in with this Katy Perry Cover Girl. This is like a lip gloss. And this is in the shade Cantaloupe. It's like a shimmery nude lip gloss. So this is the finished look. I really, really love the way it turned out. If you guys are curious how these products will work for me, because I'm definitely going to be trying them out a lot more throughout the month of April. I'll just keep you guys posted on my April favorites if I like them or if I don't. Anyways, I'm going to get going. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.